right good afternoon everyone so in this uh, presentation uh, we will talk about uh, what is a delegate right so if you see one of the standard answers in the market about delegate is that delegate is nothing but it is a pointer to a function okay when i look at this definition you know it looks very very monotonous to me okay and also it looks very stupid i'll tell you why for example uh, let me code a small delegate here and then we can you know just discuss out you know what is the need of delegate okay uh, so if you say delegate is appointed to a function that means you are seeing something like this for example uh, let us say i have a method here uh, static void some method let us say okay and in this sum method let us let me go and create a simple console dot write line saying method called okay now if you say delegate is appointed to a function you know that means if you see the if you see the code of delegate it looks like this you know so basically you go and you create a delegate so like this saying sum method pointer right so you can see that I have created a delegate called as some method pointer and later what I can do is I can take this pointer I can create an object of this pointer and I can point it to that some method right I can point it to that some method and I can just go ahead and invoke that object so you can see now you can see that I have created a delegate and this delegate some method pointer is pointing towards some method and I'm saying invoke right so if I do a control F5 over here, you can see that my method has been invoked. But now, does it make sense? Does it make sense? You know, I mean, I can call this some method myself. I can just say some method. That's it, right? Why do I have to go indirectly and call this some method? Are we getting guys? In other words, can't I do something like this? I can just go ahead and say here some method, right? So the next question to uh, think about is that basically what is the meaning or what is the uh, what is the benefit of calling a method directly and what is a what is the benefit of calling a method indirectly via a delegate pointer right so this is the understanding of delegate technically but from the real point use you know we we still you know, we are still not getting the answer that why do we need delegates okay a method which can be called directly what is the point of calling that method indirectly so in order to get the real essence of delegate or in order to really understand that why we need delegate let us try to go into basics you know let us just go back to our school days and uh, let us try to understand that what is the English meaning of delegate what does this this dictionary meaning of delegate means okay if you go and hunt around right the dictionary meaning of delegate you will come to know that delegate is a kind of a representative you must have heard the sentence now and then saying that okay the US delegate went to this country and did this the Indian delegate visited to this region and did this right so basically if you look at the real world or if you look at the English meaning of delegate actually this delegate word is used you know whenever you know you are talking about a representative okay and, and the main goal of this representative is to communicate between two parties so when I say that a Indian representative has been sent to Nepal that means you know this representative is going to communicate between Nepal and India right so that is the meaning of delegate you know when it comes to real world and let me tell you you know that is what exactly is the meaning of delegates even in C sharp at the end of the day right so delegate here in C sharp is meant to do communication between two things okay so let me explain you what does it mean so now assume for example so let me go and delete all these codes over here what I've written uh, now assume that you have a class you know so let us say you have a class here called as class my class and this my class uh, has some long running method you know so i'm going to go and create something saying long running okay so there's a long running method over here and uh, inside this long running method you know let us go and create a, a for loop a kind of a huge for loop uh, which runs something like ten thousand times right and it loops through this and uh, does something okay 
Now this my class, I'm calling it from this program class here or from, from my static void main. I'm trying to invoke uh, my class. So over here, I'm going to say obj dot long running, right? So now here we have two parties actually. So one party is this class program, my static void main, and the other party whom I'm calling is my class, okay? Now let us say this first party or the first entity over here, my, my the program, wants to get informed that which number is at this mo moment running in the for loop. So he wants to get updates uh, live from this long running method. Okay. So what we need, what we can do over here is we can go and create a delegate, right? So I can go and say that in this my class, I can go and create a delegate here. Okay. Saying callback. Okay and this my class will say that okay anybody can pass me the delegate function here and i will ensure that i will make a call back and pass him the current running number right so you can see now this my class is saying me okay send me your delegate via this and i will ensure you that i will send all the messages via the delegate so now what this program over here can do is he can go and pass him a method name, right? So in other words, let us say that I have some uh, method here called as uh, callback, right? And console.write line. So I can go and pass this callback method, right, to this uh, uh, to this my class over here so you can see now i'm passing him this callback method and this this callback method is now becoming a delegate right so it is a delegate to this my class so now what this my class does is it actually goes and calls back via this delegate and informs the program right uh, that which is the current running number so if i do a control f5 so if i do this so there you can see now my numbers are getting displayed so in other words, uh, you know, what is happening is that basically uh, this my class is communicating the data via the delegate. So the real use of delegate, right, in C sharp is callbacks, callbacks and callbacks, right? So the way we say in our real world, you know, that delegate is nothing but it is kind of a representative, you know, who helps us to communicate. In the same way here in C sharp, you know, delegate is nothing but a representative, you know, which will help us to call back and do the data communication. So I hope that, you know, this uh, presentation was useful. In this presentation, I was trying to uh, bring out the real essence of delegates and trying to make you understand that what exactly is the need of delegates in C sharp. So next time, you know, when you talk about delegates, don't just say that delegate is a pointer to a function. Delegate is that, delegate is that. The main use of delegate is communication between two parties. The main use of delegates is callbacks, callbacks, and callbacks. Thank you.